Welcome. Welcome to MPAI 600 here at Georgetown University's Applied Intelligence Program. I want to welcome you to the course and welcome you to Georgetown University and the Applied Intelligence Program as well. Uh, I hope this, pro this program and this course both fulfills your professional and academic needs. Uh, so I just want to, again, introduction, welcome to the course, welcome you to the program. Uh, again, this is going to be a seven and a half week course and it'll be intellectual, it'll be, one, it'll be intellectually challenging, but also be a lot of information compressed in a seven and a half week course. It is a full semester compressed down so you can get the degree in, in a little bit of a quicker time frame. So before you, you watch this, uh, you should watch the week, or complete the week zero activities, you know, introduce yourself, get yourself familiarized with the Canvas system, uh, you should also do the syllabus review. I'm not going to go over the entire class in this short lecture. Uh, the syllabus review is for that. And that's in the two videos that I've included in this announcement. So please view those uh, before you view the rest of this, this video. So I'm jumping in right into week one. Um, oh, week one will introduce intelligence as a process. Uh, and it's relevant whether you're in the business side, whether you're in the law enforcement side, whether you're Homeland Security or in the larger strategic intelligence uh, curriculum. So the, the process is relatively the same. Uh, we're going to start with the collection disciplines. Uh, if the terms SIGINT, MAZINT, COMMENT, HUMANT, if these terms you've never heard of before, you're going to get an introduction to them in the in the Lowenthal readings and in my lecture. Uh, if you have listened to them before, you're going to probably get some good refresher and maybe learn something about these collection disciplines that you might not have learned if you had if you worked at them in the in the uh, public sector. Uh, we look at the collection cycle, and this is again how intelligence goes from an initial requirement down to a decision that an operations or a business leader uh, or a strategic or a policymaker makes. Um, so we're going to look at the collection cycle. We're going to throw what the collection cycle is, and there's no real agreement on it. Lowenthal has one side. Some of your other readings might have what the collection cycle is. I have my own thoughts. So we're going to look at the collection cycle, but we're going to look at, more importantly, where it breaks down, because that's going to be relevant as we start talking about historical case studies. You know, it's great what we preach in doctrine and in a classroom, but we also want to apply where it breaks down, why it breaks down, and see as this is a root cause for intelligence failure. So the readings, Lowenthal, chapters one through five, uh, I think that's pretty much the gold standard for, uh, for intelligence baselining everyone's intelligence knowledge. Um, so go through the chapters the, the key points are bold faced, the key vocabulary you need to get, a, get from, and they're highlighted at the end. So make sure you focus on that. And then again, focus on the chapters, Re read all the chapters, but focus particularly on the collection disciplines and the collection cycle. Those are the two key chapters that we'll be going over in this, in this week. Um, the documentary UBL capture. Uh, and I'll let you decide whether you want to watch the documentary first and then read or read the documentary and uh, or read the, the assignment and then watch the documentary. What I will say is it's probably better to read the book, read the Lowenthal first and then watch the documentary. And as you're watching the documentary, think about the collection disciplines. Think about the collection cycle and how it's applied to the success story. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about failure in future classes, but this is a success story, and I think uh, highlights how the collection disciplines were used to achieve an objective. And again, for those of you who are outside the national security realm, I think you still will get something out of the, the UBL capture case study um, that might be relevant in the business community or in local law enforcement. Uh, so again, focus on on not just the entertainment value, it is a very entertaining documentary, but focus again on those, on how collection drove uh, process and how it drove action uh, for this case to be successful. 
And in the lectures, uh, lectures you'll see me, uh, we'll introduce the course again uh, in more detail. I'll go over the collection disciplines, the advantages and disadvantages of each collection discipline, uh, the collection cycle. Again, I will go over in detail what I think the collection cycle will be. Uh, and then for your discussion, again, applying the collection cycle and the disciplines to the UBL raid. So again, it's, it's an applied, there's a reason why it's called the Applied Intelligence Program. Uh, we're not just going to learn the basics or the schoolhouse intelligence analysis. We're going to take what we've learned in the lectures and in the uh, readings and apply it to a real world scenario. So that's kind of week one in a nutshell. Uh, as always, if there's questions or issues, please let me know. But I look forward to seeing you on the discussion boards.